Hey, it's TR back with another episode in the Truck Camper Renovation Series, and today we're going to start rebuilding this box that sits on the rear. This thing is rotten as rotten can be so and this whole corner is rotten from the top down is just totally rotten so i've got to rebuild this fortunately the other side the, the passenger side is fine so we just have to rebuild this one it's pretty bad and so i got a half inch sheet of cdx plywood here you know because this is outside it sits out in the weather it's in the truck bed but it could still be exposed to a lot of moisture and stuff like that. So it was important to get some exterior rated plywood. I'm going to patch this plywood with some gunk I've got that works amazingly well as far as patches go before I paint it. And I'll show you that whole process in this video is we're going to assemble this cabinet, paint it, get it all sealed up, and have it ready to go back on the truck camper. Fortunately, I'm going to use these as patterns, right? So I'm just going to lay this out real quick and try to optimize the material use. I need to pull some screws out though so I can get things flush. And I have a stick, I have a sliver in my finger I'm gonna have to go take care of right now because it is hurting like son of a gun. Let's get this squared in here. All right, that fits pretty good. Now, can I get this sheet out of here? Let's see, if I flip this one over like this. Give myself a little bit of a margin there. Oh yeah, that works perfect. I'll just come down here like this. Uh, let's see, what is gonna optimize this the best? Let's just try this like this for now. And then we'll take this and lay it like here. Okay. I just want to clamp this down so I can uh, make sure that it stays square. <laughs> Cut what I can with the circular saw because it's faster and more accurate actually. And then we'll finish up the cuts with the saber saw. I'm going to try uh, this lightweight body filler uh, to patch these holes. I need to get a good, give it a good stir though. It's been sitting a while. Still good though. I want to get it used up. I don't use a lot of this. I bought it for a project I was doing on my Class A RV. I'm going to want a big blob of this. Like that. To start with. Hardener, a lot of this, and we mix. That's looking pretty good now. Really 
starting to set up and there's still one more spot outside I want to fill. Uh oh. Well, we lost it. Okay, make a smaller pile next time, quit around. But let me get this cleaned up real quick here so I don't lose my board. Continuing to paint, uh, I've decided that I'm painting the pieces before I put them on. And then once I get everything assembled, I'll go back and kind of touch everything up. But it's just so much easier to work on flat surface like this. You know, you can see that I've primed and then just painting with a good flat black paint. I've used Bear Paint, I've used Sherwin Williams, I was at Home Depot. I picked this up. Okay, so I've got this thing dry fit together. I've got just about every clamp I own <laughs> involved. Um, it's looking okay. It kind of doesn't look like it's very square. Uh, let me check a square bench dimension here real quick. 26 and a 16th. Hey, it's square. So I think I finally got this assembly sequence figured out. of a camera glitch and I recorded 45 minutes of a frozen frame and that 45 minutes was me finishing put this back together so unfortunately you'll have to imagine in your mind's eye but I think you can understand it went back together pretty good I'm pretty happy with the results in fact I'm way down the road here I'm getting the electrical done right now so the demolition pile is getting pretty big and I'm gonna have to get through this a little bit and uh, get it cleaned up because uh, eventually I'm gonna need to get into that metal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pick the two by fours and other material out of here that I think I'll keep. Some of this I'm gonna cut up 
and just use it for firewood this winter. You know, like this two by two I can use. It's a little bit tired, but anyway, we just need to knock this piece off. subscribe subscribe ring the notification bell tons of great videos still to come on this restoration at the point I'm recording this I'm getting pretty close to being ready to put the insulation on which means I'm getting like right down to the end of the task list and so I'm pretty excited to finish up hopefully this heat will let up it's been so hot it's supposed to be almost a hundred today and a hundred over the weekend and this is coming up on Labor Day weekend so that's really unusual for this time of the year for us but we're going to make the best of it by getting this done as soon as we can and getting out and getting some camping in before winter hits. I'd also like to remind you if you want to support the channel in other ways, you can do so by visiting Amazon through the link in the video description. That'll take you to my Amazon store, then you can depart from there and go get whatever you want on Amazon. I'll get a small commission, but you'll pay the same price. You'll also notice in the description there are links for Renogy Solar and for RecPro. RecPro is a top quality RV parts supplier. I've used them for tons of stuff. And there's a discount code in the video description for both Renogy and RecPro. So please support me there as well if you're so inclined. I thank you in advance. But that'll do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Till we get together for another truck camper restoration video. Peace.